Hey guys, Reverso here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. Hey Siri, what is the weather? It's currently partly cloudy and 30 degrees in Arnhem. It is 30 degrees Celsius where I live. I got my fan on in the background, I got my windows open, I got my studio lights on. And still, it is incredibly humid. At this time of year, living in the Netherlands or something like that is just not like very pleasant if it is this hot. Unless you're outdoors and you're, you're doing something else, then record a video indoors because this is such a critical moment for Pokemon Go content on YouTube. Like this moment right now is very significant and it's going downwards. It's going downwards real quick. And I'm not talking necessarily about my own channel, but I'm talking about the state of Pokemon Go on YouTube. So to give this some backstory, about a year ago on Instagram, they decided it was a great idea to stop showing images and videos in chronological order anymore. Which is actually really annoying because if something gets released uh, and I check Instagram and I'm like, oh, Pokemon Go tweeted out something. Sometimes it's like from three days ago, whenever it was like the last event. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because it might just happen to YouTube as well. Twitter user JPM underscore 507 said, why aren't the videos in my subscription feed in chronological order anymore? The subscription feed is the only thing left that makes YouTube YouTube. You subscribe to a channel and it pops up what is the latest at top and then older videos like you know in, in chronological order how it's supposed to be and then team YouTube responded with just to clarify which is currently experimenting with how to show content in the subs feed we find that some viewers are able to more easily find the videos they want to watch when we order the subs feed in a personalized order versus always showing the most recent videos first this is kind of one of those things where this this sucks and i don't understand why companies try to fix what ain't broken because i mean we're all familiar with the subscription feed we're all happy with the way it works but apparently youtube thought it was necessary to work on this feature called highlights for you which kind of insinuates that it's like clips or moments instead of videos but no it's the videos not showing up in chronological order the fact that they're working on it and that they're sort of implementing it to people means that they're actually thinking of adding it to youtube which is going to be catastrophic for pokemon go content on youtube and i'm not necessarily talking about my own content the reason why i'm making this video is because this feature if it actually gets rolled out might kill smaller youtube channels on youtube because they simply are not going to be getting as many views as they are right now and growing on youtube is one of the hardest things ever like youtube is all about making a video and then throwing it out there but now we have to say stuff like subscribe to the channel like the video leave a comment hit that bell notification follow me on twitter so that way you get a notification when i go whenever i upload a video follow me on instagram so i can advertise down there that i'm uploading a video uh, make sure you to follow my facebook as well so that way maybe you're not gonna miss out on anything we're essentially becoming salesmen at this point and it's disgusting me i'm still doing it because it's kind of like i'm used to it right now you guys don't really seem to mind that much but i rather not have to say stuff like this because it's, it's just not like it's something that's supposed to be a thing i'm under the impression that content should speak for itself and if you guys like what you see you will go out and subscribe anyway you know but that is not how youtube works you see the youtube search algorithm is completely messed up and by that i mean everything that is some sort of engagement whether you watch the video for a longer period of time like a video leave a comment all play a factor in how well our videos are being ranked in search so especially if you get the notification and you see that we just uploaded a video the first like 24 hours of the amount of views that we're getting within a video or even the first hour matter a lot for how well our videos are going to be ranked in youtube search so this means that simply put whenever i upload a video i get a lot of watch time so my video ranks up higher in search than other content creators who don't have the channel size that i have basically meaning that youtube recommends my channel over other channels and i think that is unfair but unfortunately this has been the case for years already and we cannot do much about this but it's about to get progressively worse with this 
implementation of this feature. I mean, they're thinking about it, they might roll it out as an option, and then they might just force it onto you, which would suck. Right now in Pokemon Go, we're entering a kind of a golden era. We got the Alolan forms, which are gonna bring a lot of Pokemon Go players back. We got Hey Let's Go Pikachu and Hey Let's Go Eevee, which is a Pokemon Go Switch integration, which is rumored to be released, making sure that people who get the, the Switch games might pick up Pokemon Go again, so that's a cool thing, we are getting a lot of updates, we got amazing events in the pipeline, but what's gonna be happening whenever it's autumn or winter, like, you know, the momentum might be gone completely. So this is why this moment in Pokemon Go YouTube history is so critical, because after all these events are gone, you might not get the opportunity to grow your channel anymore. So the way that I see it is, this change in YouTube is probably not gonna affect my channel so much per se. If anything, my channel might even benefit from this, which I genuinely, you know, I'm happy with, you know, I cannot really complain about this. But I, I just don't want to see channels die off anymore. Like, I've been doing YouTube for 8 years. Um, and this channel specifically for four years and I've easily seen over 500 content creators just fall off because they're not getting any sort of, you know, growth with their channel and they're being dismotivated and their content as a result of that falls even off even further and, you know, they end up stopping YouTube and I kind of want to try to do something with my platform that we've already done before. There's one really cool way in which you guys have the capability to really help out the Pokemon Go community on YouTube. And that is, if you go to YouTube and you type in Pokemon Go, uh, usually what will happen is the, the videos of the bigger content creators will start to pop up. This is what YouTube recommends. What I want you to do on this page is to filter by most recent uploads. And what will happen is even the smallest of YouTubers with even zero subscribers will start to pop up. And give these people like a minute or two and see if what it is that they're doing you really enjoy. And if you do, leave a comment telling them that you enjoy their video, subscribe and turn on their notifications so that way the moment they publish a video you get to see it first and maybe they will become the next Trainer Tips or Mystic 7, you really don't know, but we gotta start somewhere. Another way you can help, and especially if you are a, a content creator on YouTube for Pokemon Go, and specifically uh, Pokemon Go if you do an English channel, uh, visit the stream that I'm gonna be doing this weekend because I'm gonna be featuring a bunch of you uh, up-and-coming Pokemon Go content creators, more specifically people with under like 5,000 subscribers. I'm just gonna check out your channel and if I see something that I think you can improve on, constructive feedback, I'll give it. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for like four years. Hopefully my, you know, insight or knowledge you know i don't want to i don't want to you know brag or anything like that but i have been doing this relatively successful for a couple of years right now maybe if i can give you some feedback it will help you improve your content and more importantly help you get some exposure from people who are there during the stream as well uh, and that way we can kind of grow together right so especially if you find a really cool channel on youtube for pokemon go let me know down in the comments below so that way i can check it out or anything like that and also very importantly if you know of any pokemon go youtube out there who is trying to grow their channel and they maybe not see this video make sure you share this video with them so that way they can also participate in that stream and maybe you know get some feedback for their channel to help them grow i'm genuinely not trying to make it look like i'm better than everybody out there because i'm truly not but i just know that i know your struggle i i've been there i've had zero subscribers at one point i had to ask my friends to check out my channel i know everything about the grind on YouTube so I can relate where you guys are coming from and that's why I want to see you flourish on this platform because there's nothing more amazing than doing this for you know a living and I just want to hopefully do something here if, if that makes any sense so yeah that's it for me for now thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys have a really great rest of the day I'm working on some videos so they will be coming very soon including my community day video which I'm late on Apologize for that, but it should be a cool video regardless. This is Reverse for Pokemon Go. I'm gonna be signing off. I'll see you guys this weekend. Follow me on Twitter to, uh, to get notified about the stream. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.